Hello, baseball fans, and welcome back to Utility Sports. We have some breaking news from Atlanta. And if you're a fan of baseball and love baseball content, please subscribe here at Utility Sports because we have some very, very interesting news coming out of Atlanta. Charlie Morton has signed a one-year deal with the Atlanta Braves. So what does this kind of mean for the Braves? The rotation now through and through is one of the best in baseball. Last postseason, they had kind of a breakout campaign holistically. Um, they have Max Freed, um, Mike Soroka, they have Ian Anderson. Now you add Charlie Morton into the mix. Charlie Morton was a Cy Young guy in the 2019 season. Um, I think he finished third in the Cy Young voting. He had a very, 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 very good season. Um, they also have Drew Smiley at the, the back end of that rotation as their five starter. I really, really like the move for Atlanta. Um, historically, if we look back the last couple of years, Atlanta's been very motivated to get guys like Azuna and Donaldson, as John Heyman uh, says here. It was a really great move from the standpoint of they're not committing long-term money to this guy. Um, let's take a look at uh, some of Charlie Morton's numbers here. Uh, 2019, obviously he had a phenomenal year. Yes, he was third in Cy Young. Um, I really like the move. So you take a look. Uh, he's just got a one-year deal, not a high risk or not a high risk guy because you're only going the one year. Um, Charlie Morton had a little bit of dip in velocity this past season. However, in the postseason, he was able to pick things back up. Had a pretty good postseason through and through, but I, I think it makes sense for Atlanta to go this direction. Now let's kind of look at it from the Rays perspective. Yes, you are losing Charlie Morton, but you do have help coming on the way as the, as the Rays are one of the deepest teams in the minors. Um, arguably have the deepest minor league system in all of baseball. I think you're in good hands. I think there's you got room to grow. Um, I'm, I'm really excited for Brendan McKay coming up. You have other pitchers like Honeywell, and I, I think that this race seems going to be okay. You know why? Because they've prepped for this. They've been ready for this. The Tampa Bay Rays will be just fine. However, I do love the addition for the Atlanta Braves, considering it's only a one-year deal. Something that's very interesting was – he had declined his, I think it was one year option here with the Rays for $15 million as well. So he's kind of clearly sending a message that he'd rather play in Atlanta. Um, there was, you know, some rumors to he just wants to stay on the East Coast or on the east, Eastern portion of the United States. I'm not sure if he has family or what it may be, but he made it clear he did not want to play for the Rays this year, even at that same salary number. He kind of wanted to go grass is green or somewhere else, apparently. Um, the race had a great postseason run. Uh, I'm not sure if he – maybe he doesn't believe in the sustainability of a run like that. But honestly, if, if you're Morton, I understand wanting to jump to Atlanta. Um, he did pitch there before. That, that was many, many um, years ago. You see, in, it was in 2008 is when um, he last pitched in Atlanta. Obviously, it was only a one-year stint. But for the Braves, it makes all the sense in the world. You're getting a guy – at the one-year deal, uh, you, you, you feel pretty good about it. I, I think, especially with how you round out your rotation with having Ian Anderson as possibly your three or four now with Morton in the mix, um, I think Morton might slot into even that four starter spot. But very aggressive move by the Atlanta Braves early on in free agency. Hopefully we're going to start seeing some dominoes fall because I think that this team um, is very capable of going to the World Series they are definitely Atlanta's biggest threat coming out of the NL right now, just considering their lineup holistically. We also do have some interesting free agent, you know, options with they have to, they could pursue and bring back Marzello Ozuna. Um, but honestly, I, I love the move for Atlanta. They got to keep chugging. I, th I don't think it stops here. I think they're going to get some more bullpen help. I think they're going to try to bring back Ozuna. But honestly, if you're a Braves fan, you should feel pretty happy with what you're see seeing right now from your squad. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe and like this video if you did enjoy the content. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.